Hey guys, it's me, All Zogs, aka Angelica, here again to bring you guys more information. And so, today I actually wanted to continue off where I left off with the Makeup 101 uh, series, I guess. Because, um, you know, why not? I don't, I don't know whoever needs it, but might as well have it here for those who do. And so for today, I wanted to tackle concealers. What? So concealers. Typically, for most women, primer and foundation is enough. Like, that's enough. And that's okay. Um, if you'd like to cover up a skin concern, if... You know, like, you know, if you have acne, under eye bags, and even skin tone, like, feel free to use this. But that doesn't mean you need to use this. Only if you'd like to. Um, you can apply this below or above foundation. Um, it can be utilized as an eyeshadow primer or a base. But some targeted uses would be to brighten an area or cover acne. Some use one shade lighter, but some use the same tone as foundation. Um, to contour for a more natural look, use five shades darker, but same tone as your foundation. For more dramatic use, uh, use a concealer in a shade group below yours, but in the same tone. To color correct is usually when you're trying to even out your skin tone. So, pale pink neutralizes blue or dark spots in fair skin. Peach neutralizes blue or dark spots on medium to tan skin. Orange neutralizes dark spots on deep skin. Yellow neutralizes purple or dark spots on olive or golden skin. Green neutralizes um, redness, while lavender neutralizes yellow spots. Um, some tips if you have under eye creases, I do recommend to not use thick concealers or to only apply a little bit first and then build up from there. It's much easier to use a little bit first and then see how much coverage you need and then to set it immediately right after. A translucent powder. Try not to leave your concealer on for too long, otherwise it would start creasing. And if you do have deep creases under your eyes, it's going to settle into those creases if you feel that that's an important concern for you. Again, sometimes your skin could actually be really good that day, so you don't need to use a lot of makeup. Or if you are going somewhere and you don't want to appear cakey, you know, Use it step by step, like don't um, put too much. Um, it is not suggested to apply liquid concealer on powder foundation or translucent powder without practice. Keyword without practice. Um, a lot of oily skin types typically put translucent powder on their skin prior to putting on concealer. And this is to allow like this buffer of um, absorbance for that oil before it gets to your concealer or foundation products. But again, keyword is without practice. This is a technique that requires practice. It requires some of your time. So it's tricky to master. It can be done, but practice is key. Some recommendations, I guess, for me since I do have tan skin, I have combination skin as well. I typically use ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I'm almost out of it as well. Um, this one comes in, I think, a large shade range. Double check me if I'm wrong. So the ColourPop No Filter Concealer comes in 30 shades. Um, it could expand its color range a little bit more, but it is a good start. They have 30 colors in their concealer range. Um, it's also a matte full coverage concealer, so you don't need a lot of it. I would typically just open it up and do little dots on the areas that I need coverage in, 
and blend it from there with a damp beauty sponge. Um, another good alternative would be the e.l.f. 16-hour camo matte concealer or you could just get the hydrating camo concealer. And this one, I believe, it's a full coverage concealer. So the e.l.f. camo concealer, 16-hour camo concealer, comes in, I believe, 16 or 17 shades. 18 shades, I'm sorry. 18 shades. Um, it's full coverage. It comes in matte. It also comes in hydrating. And then they have their regular one as well. And, of course, it's not, it's not 30, but it's a start. And e.l.f. is cruelty free um, it's also very cheap it's one of the more cheaper ends of the drugstore um, Colourpop is also cruelty free I believe e.l.f. is vegan Colourpop is, ha is not 100% vegan and another good one another good concealer to use would be the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer um, these ones I actually typically use for contouring. Um, it's lightweight, it's a 24-hour matte finish, it lasts all day, um, it's also very blendable. You don't need a lot of it to contour. And let me check the shade range. So the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer actually comes in 31 shades. So just one shade higher than the color pop. And I believe these are also cruelty-free and not 100% vegan but again like these are three good alternatives or options for you if you'd like to do a more um, natural looking um, makeup look or just a very simple easy out the door makeup look um, i use the can't stop won't stop concealer from nyx more as a contour and for simple everyday it would be the color pop no filter concealer or the e.l.f. 16-hour camo concealer. But yeah, I hope that this video was very informational for you guys. And I hope that you also had fun while learning today. Um, if you have any questions, you know, like feel free to comment down below so I know. And we could have a conversation. Um, but yeah, I hope to see you again soon. Stay safe wherever you are. And peace.